So it's time to thin out the area that I'm going to be notching. not too bad. I gotta admit, it is not too bad as far as cooperation. As long as you don't mind it being that thick. I don't mind it. I do like looking at thin points. But uh, I don't mind if it's thick either, as long as it looks well flaked. Because, yeah, I got the OCD thing where I don't want to look at it and have to spend time trying to ignore the mistakes. I don't want to look at it and say, oh, there's a mistake there, there's a mistake there. I should have taken a flake there. I want to say, yep, that's about as good as I can do. Good enough. Good. About as good as I can hope for. Yeah. Okay. I know I can drive a flake into there. I know I can. Just, how am I going to do it? I'm a, I'm not, I don't have too many options. The only option really is from here. From this area because it's already thick right there. It's scooped out here. But this area is much thicker. So I have an avenue there. But again, it's going to be messing with the stem proportions. Keep an eye on symmetry, it gets away from you. If you don't pay attention to it. So thinning before the notching. I think they thought about that a lot. Although, you know, when you look at those guys from India making those reverse indirect percussion points and they're notching with narrow notches on very thick pieces, just gotta keep in mind that they're hitting the workpiece, popping that out, and they're doing hundreds of those every week. Or let's say hundreds a month. They got a lot of practice. I don't have that much practice. I don't do hundreds of these a month. I probably could show you how to do narrow stuff on thick stuff. Narrow notches on thick stuff. But they probably got a guy just doing only the notching. Yeah, send it over to the notching guy, he'll do it. He does hundreds of those over in India. So it's got, they got one guy that can do it. I don't want to be that guy. Well, that's why you don't get lots of views, man, because you don't want to be those guys. Yep, probably so. I just want to thin this down so I can start notching. Easier. I don't want to torture myself. Although this is this rock isn't that easy. All right, let's see what it did. It's better than it was. A little bit better. A little bit. 
Kind of, sort of. Yeah, better for notching, but maybe not better for the the lump. Lump's still there. It's okay. I'm just going to leave it. That's good enough for notching. I'm going to thin it down on the other side a little bit. And uh, I don't know if it was luck or what, but, you know, doing the worst side first is better than doing the good side first because now it's thinner, right? More chance of breaking, but I'll be trying to thin down the, the good side, which doesn't take as much energy, much force. So it can be thinner while I'm working the nicer edge, nicer side. I don't know if I did it that way on purpose or not. But that's the way it's working out, so it's good. Yeah. All right. I got to focus. Didn't do much. I didn't want to use too much force. I was starting to sweat there. Yeah, so it didn't do much. It did a little bit of thinning, but not much at all, but oh well. I'm just gonna leave it. Man, it's tough. All right. All right, let's see if I can do some indirect punch work, but horizontal indirect punch work. Let's see. I'm just going to try it and see. Can't guarantee anything. No guarantees. Just riskies. Risky stuff. Yeah, that's nasty. Ugly. All right. Got a, there's a little bit of a learning curve. I got to get used to it. I used to do this a lot, but I got out of the habit. Make sure that spatula tool blade is straight up and down so it doesn't hit the sides. Indirect percussion can do a lot, but you gotta make sure the tools are cooperating. All right, did it do it? Yes, it's starting to do it. Very good. Starting to get the pop outs without the without the crushing at the bottom of the notch. That means I'm preparing the platform well enough. All right, let's do the symmetry thing. I'm already off. Darn it. It's not symmetry. Not symmetrical. why I'm off so much. I 
kind of messed up the symmetry a little bit by starting in the wrong spot. I'm wondering if I just continue with pressure and if I hit a, a wall, I'll, I'll do the punching, punch notch. I'm wondering. But I like the way the punch notching is going, so I think I'll stick with it. The reason why I say that is because I don't want to mess up the symmetry any more than I already have. With the pressure flaking, I can control it a lot better. I can control the, the shape a lot better. But this powers through even the toughest material, the indirect percussion technique. Yeah. Easier said than done. That's how to do it on that side. That's what I wanted it to look like, but it doesn't matter too much. I, I don't mind the I don't mind the clipped barbed look. Yeah, where it looks like it's clipped off. I don't mind it. Yeah. I don't need to go much deeper at all if I don't want to. I'm going to try one more. One more pop out on each side. Just for... Uh, just to try to do it. Just for experimentation. How's that? So now I, get, I just uh, repair the bottom of the notch, make it smoother. See how that is? Let's see. You can see the tool mark. See how it gouged in? Made a nice pop out on both sides. I just got to trim it up a little bit. Let's see. Trim out the bottom of the notch so it doesn't look so jagged. Right? Right. Okay. I would like to remove that lump, but I don't I don't I don't think I can. The the stem is a little bit thick, but it's alright. It's alright. Stiff fracture right there. If I put a little dimple in the bottom, 
I put a dimple in the bottom of that stem. Dimple in the base, I might be able to drive some flakes upward. I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know. Yeah, it's not worth it if it's going to be a knife blade. Okay. So I'll just spend a few minutes sharpening this piece. Okay. Just straightforward stuff. If I don't do that, can you see? This step is not difficult, it's just, I don't want to mess it up. The stone is a little bit unpredictable, being as, as tough as it is. It's a little bit unpredictable. Well, there is a difference in the way I'm holding it. Sometimes I hold it this way, sometimes I hold it this way. I hold it this way when I hold it this way when I'm not concerned about what the flakes look like when they're coming off. I don't really care about the thinning, but when I want to thin, I need to look at the opposite side, make sure I'm getting the right effect. And if I'm not, I'll adjust the pressure or adjust the angle, maybe, you know, trim up the edge a little bit so I can push better for a longer flake. Like that. just because it thins it a little bit better. And yeah, you want the tip to be thin so it cuts well. Some 
sometimes it's extremely important that the tip is very, very sharp, especially with a projectile point. With knives, they can be rounded off, but with projectile points, they need to be very sharp in most cases. Very pointy. All right. Trying to nap concrete is not fun. I think I'm just going to leave it. I don't feel any abraded edges. I could leave the serrations in there, but then I got to do it on both sides. And normally on a better quality piece, I'd want to thin it a little bit more and get rid of some of those lumps. Let's see. On a better quality piece, I would remove that lump there, that lump here, and definitely thin down this stem, especially here. But I'm afraid to, to knock any flakes into this area because most likely it will cause a step fracture. Although I probably could run a ridge here and get rid of that. But that would flatten the stem out, which would look kind of not the way I want it to look. It would mess up the overall look of it. You know, with a shorter stem, it looked like I would have to deepen the notches to get a little bit more balance. Okay, well, let me let me do the symmetry a little bit better here. The other side has a little bit of a depression right here, or a constriction. goes in a little bit. Let's see. This color on the stone matches the background too well. Let's see, where's my... microphone case. See how this side has a little bit of a constriction there. I wanted to do the same on the other side, but I'm just going to leave it. Yeah, that's good enough. I like it. Nice and sharp. 